Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. It is January 30th. It's Monday, and we are in Luke chapter 13, verse 10. Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath, and there was a woman who had had a disabling spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not fully straighten herself. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said to her, Woman, you are freed from your disability. And he laid his hands on her. Immediately she was made straight, and she glorified God. But the ruler of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, said to the people, There are six days in which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. Then the Lord answered him, You hypocrites! Does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the manger and lead it away to water it? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? As he said these things, all his adversaries were put to shame, and all the people rejoiced at all the glorious things that were done by him. You know, you got Jesus doing something amaz amazing here. This woman's been bent over, you know, uh, crippled to some degree, probably arthritis or something like that. Just, she can't straighten up for 18 years. Can you imagine living like that? And there we have people like that. They, you know, arthritis is very strong, and it may have been something else, but for 18 years, you know, you'd have to go back 2012, you'd, you'd have to go back to, what, 1984? Okay. That's how long she had this. And so Jesus heals her. Instantly. And you got some guys that instead of being excited because one of God's children has been healed, one of God's children has been free from the bondage they're all upset because he did it on the Sabbath. And see, this is when your religion has gone wacky. You know, I, uh, I've, I've run into this, and probably you have too. Uh, I had, there was an event that a lot of people in the church thought everybody was supposed to be part of, and um, I had some car trouble. And... I had a brother helping me out with my car because my car wouldn't go anywhere. And there were some people got upset saying, well, you should have just come on down and could have fixed your car later. You know, that's what it's talking about here. Now, I believe attending church and church activities and things like that are very important. But it can't replace doing good for people. It says in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, Offer your bodies as living sacrifices. That's your spiritual worship to God. So, be more concerned about serving and loving your fellow man than being all legalistic about rules and things like that. Okay? In other words, love people. You show, it's how you show love for God. Alright, enough of that. Come back tomorrow for the next edition. I'll take five.